wildfire responses to abrupt climate change in North America. It is widely accepted based on data from the last few decades and on model simulations that anthropogenic climate change will cause increased fire activity. Now let's pause right there because I think you can see very first sentence, they've established the parameters of this particular study. That's a given, see? Now working from that, that's your working premise? Well, now you can see how I think they kind of contort the evidence to fit that premise. But let's go on and see what they say here. However, less attention has been paid to the relationship between abrupt climate changes and heightened fire activity in the paleo record. We use 35 charcoal and pollen records to assess how fire regimes in North America changed during the last glacial interglacial transition from 14 to 10,000 years ago. They're using it within its restricted meaning, which we know since the 1990s, first global warming got replaced by, which was clearly inferential of human activity to climate change, which could be a much broader term talking about anything and everything going back with no given limit of, of time span, right? Thereby clearly implying non-anthropogenic, non-human caused climate change. But however, with the hijacking of that term and all acceptable discussion from that point on, climate change came to mean human climate change, human caused climate change, never mind the rest.